Okay, now we're going to move on to the filaments and grounds. Now, filaments are wires going from the transformer to the tube sockets. They're often referred to as heaters. They carry a real small voltage, and they just, uh, they're what you see glowing when the tubes come on. Okay. Now I'm going to start with some wires here that I've uh, soldered into the first tube socket. You know, I probably should say the last tube socket. It's the one farthest away from the power transformer. Now once you've got it soldered in place, you don't want hum in your amplifier. And leaving these like they are straight will cause hum. So I twist these together and I'll connect them all together straight down the line, twisting as I go till I'm all the way down to the last power uh, tube. And then I've got enough, it's actually going to connect to the pilot light. And be sure you've got enough uh, wire there at the end that you can twist it and it'll make it all, all the way to the, power, uh, the pilot light. And we finally got our last connection here. And notice uh, that's the wire from the power transformer. Those are those low voltage secondaries that will be connected later on. Okay, just a word on star grounds. Um, there's a lot of information on the internet uh, claiming that star grounds are the only good system for grounding. The idea that all the grounds travel to one central point and then the wires coming out of this going to the other parts of the chassis uh, look like rays of a star and that's why they call it a star ground. It's good in the right situation. On this particular amp the ground circuitry is a little more complicated and I'm not going to be using a star ground technically. Uh, there'll be kind of one but not the traditional sense that you'll, you'll, you might have uh, seen before. The plans that are available on the website will show you uh, how we ground this particular amp. Okay, you'll see on our uh, chassis, we actually have a bolt that's uh, welded into the chassis for a ground. And that's similar to a star ground, but our diagram is going to be a little bit different. See, our power tubes and some of those grounds go to a different place. So just be sure and follow our grounding diagram, the one that's available in the plans, for knowing which wires and which grounds go to this uh, welded post and which don't.